thanks for coming out tonight. Um, wanted to introduce uh, the award-winning poet Nancy Mercado. Uh, Nancy has received the American Book Award for Lifetime Achievement, and she has also been named number one among the Frederick Douglass's 200 people who best embody the spirit and work of Frederick Douglass. It's compiled by the Frederick Douglass Family Initiative and the Anti-Racist Research and Policy Center at the American University in Washington, D.C. Uh, Nancy has performed with other musical groups such as Puma Pearl and Friends, Jennifer Blowdryer, Bobby Sanabria, and the legendary Billy Bang. So please welcome Nancy Mercado. Yay. Yay. Thank you for, uh, oh. you can hear me though, right? I mean, this is long. <laughs> no? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, Barbara, thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure and an honor to work with you guys in TV. Um, and it's wonderful to be back. I was off for a while. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to be working on some new pieces, uh, but this is these pieces have, are not as new, but, uh, you know, still relevant. Thank you. Um, this first piece is, I, I have a habit of titling my pieces and then changing the title of I'll change the title of this one today. Just today is Karmatic Year, whether Karmatic is a word or not. I don't care. <laughs> um, this was during the year of the pandemic. Earth put a roaring halt to our empty, rabid existence, ceasing marathon plastic productions, disintegrating worldwide stock markets shuddering ubiquitous greed. Earth put a roaring halt to our multi-million dollar games, sunk crude oil markets to asunder, stopped our titillating tr trophy hunts, our eating bloody meats in hordes, our cruel trampling of the land, put an end to our soiling of the skies, our tarnishing of homes where water beasts are born. In one thunderous clap, the planet hurled an instant standstill to our haywire, to our decapitation of mountaintops, our butchering of tree communities, to our murdering sprees of elephant and whale, tiger infants and elders, mothers and girls. Throughout passing days of sirens, our existence is halted. A new plague set into motion. Our mass die-off launched. Um, this one is called oh, the yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Repeat after me. We participate in our own demise, turn our backs on the truth, ignore, Danny was right. We participate in our own demise, Turn our backs on the truth. Ignore the icebergs, the mountains crumbling around us. Put into power those who care only for greed. Not for our daughters or our sons or our families. Not for the elephants or rhinoceros or sea creatures. We feed our virgin lands and pristine waterways to corporate vultures that adulterate and plunder our future. We dig further and further into an abyss we cannot possibly climb out of. 
Why do we despise ourselves so? A year long night. You slaughter the magnificent dolphins and whales of this planet. You find joy in such tragedies. You spill the blood of redwood giants centuries old, sacred blood that runs into rivers and caverns, the memory of once a family now raised. You have it all wrong, crawling over each other for a few coins, incinerating millennia of woodlands for a few coins, dumping oil and plastics and chemicals and nuclear waste into the Pacific Ocean for a few coins, gunning each other down in the streets as if it were a video game. Tomorrow your children will choke on the yellow filth you left behind, die of thirst from the deserts you created, suffocate in the absence of the jungle you lynched, your cavalier notions that you are great, that you are the Lord, that you are endowed of genius, that you will find another world to inhabit once you gutted this one. You are but an afterthought, an echo of an echo. You will never be allowed to inhabit any part of the universe again. Soon the earth will purge herself of you, disintegrate all memory of your existence. Then my spirit will finally rejoice. Ushering in Armageddon. When Trump was in, took over, it was just a nightmare. Anyway. We rapidly disappear all drinkable water, ramming in gorged steel pipes like a rapist penis into the earth, injecting its insides of vile poisons, lacerating its core, leaving warm, radiant grasslands stippled of dark gray gaseous machines, rusting, oozing mucus onto the countryside, choking vaporous clouds, rising from rivers, waterways cloaked with upended salmon, beaver, birds, assorted insects we'd yet to encounter. Mass extinctions of other life forms run amok before us because of us. We indulge in gluttony, zealots for crude oil, nuclear fuel and intangible futures. We indulge in greed, craze for imbecilic video games, prime time and commercial ads making others rich and our minds poor. We coddle our narcissism, the idea that we are invincible, all-knowing, masters of the universe, superior to all life forms, yet ignorant of countless creatures inhabiting black depths at the bottom of our own planet seas. We sentence ourselves to wrath, placing madmen at the helm of a nuclear empire. We fornicate with money and palm oil lovers, torching vast swaths of Earth's forests, decimating acres at whim. We sentence ourselves to deception, choosing fanciful illusions. We are Leviathan stars on a global stage existing only inside the flat screens of our own cracked skulls. We sentence ourselves to sloth, lethargically sitting by witnessing the implosion of even our own families, never lifting a finger never troubling our carcasses out of cushy cheap sofas bought at Walmart on Veterans Day sales. We splatter everything over of syrupy affirmations that the skies are crimes, that mask our cataclysms, our inertia, our self-inflicted Armageddon, like a junkie shooting up that last dose of bad endings, a rehashed nightmare. How utterly foolish we are. And I'll read a couple more, because um, I know the bands have to come up. Uh, this was... Um, called, it's called the... Plague America. Plague America. 
It takes a plague to crystallize the malignancy occupying the White House that churns our death, a gross carnage of humanity stockpiled inside U-Haul trucks. It takes a plague to breach the lies we live in in this America, bearing its mercenary truths, its decomposing laws scavenged by elected officials. A plague is what it takes to realize red baseball cap buffoons can freely amass assault rifles, the privileged, scant, illiterate, and starved, lined up for miles to reach food banks, gleefully waving soil confederate flags and tatters. A plague must be what it takes to discover our illusory lives, the hamster wheel we've been sold, traveling on it all along toward manufactured dreams, toward nowhere in reality. It takes a plague to recognize we are orphans in this America, sparing no expense. We are marked for ruin by the slothful elites who bask in swimming pools of our blood. A plague is what it takes to wake up from this American dream, to see our children in cage, our mothers, our fathers butchered in broad daylight, our homes mired as soup water, our lands laced of oil pipelines discharging at whim, scourging valleys filled of life, decimating our future under a foul dark layer of evil. A plague must be what it takes for our redress in the streets of this America, our decisive rebellion, our final renaissance. And the last piece that I would, the last piece um, that I read is um, a piece that I that I wrote for uh, Miguel Agarin when he passed away. Miguel, of course, was the founder of the New Yorican Poets Cafe and the New Yorican, one of the founders of the principal founder of the New Yorican movement. It's called Friendship for Miguel. A crescent moon inside a perfect blue sky, an orange horizon just beyond my mind explodes when I hear, hold on, it's the hospital. And in my numb state, I comforted others. In my numb state, I go to sleep wondering when you'll appear, take me to the ballet, out to dinner, to a fine French bistro, buy me trinkets from a vintage thrift store, walk the length of Manhattan with me, sit in old neighborhood bars for hours. For 40 years, you held my hand on this planet. Tell me, how do I thank you? Thank you so much.